Good morning, Jeff. Well, let me start exactly by giving the broad economic picture here in Greece. The truth is that Greece, the Greek economy, is expected to grow by 2.2% this year, and that is the best growth rate seen by more than by more than 10 years. And let's not forget that Greece ended the third bailout program last August. It's going to be six months tomorrow from that date. And there's been a huge effort from the authorities to improve the Greek economy. And employment has come down to about 18%. The banking system has also reduced the level of non-performing loans. But of course, there are still a lot of issues. I mean, 18% of unemployment is not a good figure, but we need to keep the big context in mind when it comes to the evolution of the Greek crisis. And yesterday, when I sat down with the CEO of Piraeus Bank, Mr. Christos Megalo, he said that the big focus should continue to be on reducing the level of bad loans. The four banks, the four systemic banks, have agreed among themselves to reduce uh, the uh, non-performing loans between now and, and 2021 by 50 billion. 50 billion is uh, uh, almost 28 percent of the GDP of this country, is a significant percentage vis-à-vis uh, uh, -vis, uh, the, the actual GDP that's being produced in this country. I w would like to see this happening and I would be very happy if we are able to achieve these targets as, as we have set ourselves uh, out to achieve. So Pireos alone, that's Greece's largest lender by assets, wants to reduce its NPLs by 15 billion euros until 2021. And in this context, yesterday, Mr. Megalo also told me that actually Greek bad loans are the most attractive asset these days. All the international uh, funds that are uh, present in the NPL business in Europe namely in Spain, Italy, and to a lesser extent Portugal, have been looking for uh, investment in Greece. We had um, uh, situations where funds were competing, uh, and, and in the process of, of uh, competition, they had, to do, uh, they had to pay significant amounts of money in due diligence uh, to, to be able to bid for these assets, and we are very happy as a, a, as a principal selling those loans of the level of competition and the level of uh, activity that we see in the NPL market. I would say, uh, uh, I would dare say that one of the most uh, uh, interesting asset classes in, in Greece these days is the non-performing loans in this country. So as you can tell, there's still a lot of work to be done here in Greece. But from the bank's perspective, the key is really to regain market credibility. In the coming days, I'll be speaking with Greece's top politicians. And I'll be bringing you tomorrow an interview with the opposition leader, Kriakos Mitsotakis. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.